Hi, I'm Sundata Yet Villarreal. Welcome to the Video Assisted Instruction C Language Programming Series. Our topic for today is about identifier. Okay, so uh, last time we discussed about the comment and uh, right now we're going to define what is an identifier okay so identifier is a name is a name okay use to identify a variable a function or any other user defined items okay and that is identifier so it is a name used to identify a variable a function or any other user defined items now identifier comes into three okay so let's identify this one so we have uh, the three types of identifier okay the first one is a a reserve word reserve word identifier okay and the reserve word identifier is a what do you call a keyword or keywords in a C language the second one is the standard identifier which is a function in uh, C language and the last one is a user defined identifier which is created by the programmer okay so uh, let's have an example of identifier so let's uh, put the code include sjo.h so we have integer main we have begin and end semicolon okay so this is our uh, code in our previous uh, video which is identified as head the neck and the body okay so we need to put the uh, identifier inside or in the middle of begin and end curly bracket now um, The first thing we're going to identify is a keyword and we have uh, plenty of a keyword. A keyword is a reserve word, identifier in C language like integer, okay? So we have long, um, we have short, okay? So these three is are the examples of uh, a reserve word identifier okay so uh, if we run debug uh, start without debugging uh, yes and build started then uh, build succeeded and we have the output so there's no error in this uh, code which is the uh, reserve word or the keyword okay so next we have the standard identifier 
So a standard identifier is a function. So uh, again, integer is a keyword or a reserve word. Okay, long also is a reserve word. And a short is also a reserve word. As uh, our example. Now let's proceed with the the second uh, types of identifier the standard identifier so and the standard identifier are functions so let's type uh, pin f okay uh, and uh, scan f so these two these two are uh, a standard identifier. Okay, so let's check if it is uh, running. So click debug and start without debugging. Yes. So we'll start it with succeeded, and uh, that's it. So we have the uh, output, and the code is okay. Now, um, so let's type here, this is a function, or uh, let's put the standard identifier. So that is standard. Now, let's proceed with the third uh, type of identifier. This is a user-defined identifier. And the uh, user-defined identifier are created by programmers. Okay. So, let's check out. Now, uh, if I'm going to type here, like, uh, how about uh, Manila? So Manila, Tama. then uh, another one is Bicol. Tama. So when I put the uh, Manila and Bicol, we have ident we have red and underline. If you notice, we have two. The first one from Manila underline, red underline, and the uh, Bicol red underline. And if you notice also, if I pointed uh to the uh, user defined identifier error identifier manila is under undefined so undefined because it is a user defined identifier okay so uh, it is not defined by uh, the compiler because there is no such thing as word in the uh, compiler like bcol and uh, manila okay now, uh, to correct this uh, thing, okay, um, again, this is our user defined identifier. And uh, also this one. Is a user defined identifier. Okay, but uh, it is an error. Now, what we need to do right here is that uh, how do we make this uh, code uh, correct because uh, it is an error. Now, to make this uh, code correct, is considered to be very simple okay 
first is that we need to copy this okay we need to copy this okay so we can uh, cut and we can paste it right here okay but uh, so let's check out so let's so paste okay that's it okay so if you notice uh, it is not uh, the 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 uh, reserve word okay uh, was being uh, connected by a white space okay and it's a user defined identifier so it is a reserve board connected by a user defined identifier with a uh, white space okay in the middle of it so we have a white space right here okay now um, since it is okay now let's uh, check out this another uh, user defined and let's put it right here okay so let's uh, paste it and let's give them space remove this thing and uh, this one let's paste it right here and copy this one and it's basically okay now uh, right now it is almost uh, similar to a reserve word a white space and a user defined identifier so since it is okay what you need to do is to click the uh, debug and uh, start without debugging Click yes and the uh, build started we succeeded now we don't have any errors now and uh, the tree identifier has been uh, given okay now uh, there is a uh, a series of uh, what do you call identification okay now identifier okay identifier sorry okay identifier uh, uses um, alphabet it uses alphabet from A to Z which is non-capitalized okay and uh, A to Z which is capitalized it also uses uh, underscore and the last is 0 to 9 which is considered as digits okay now uh, identifier uses A to Z non capitalized and alphabet of course uh, A to Z capitalized we have underscore and 0 to 9 digits now Another thing is that uh, a an identifier uh, does not okay uh, again identifier does not allow okay um, characters such as uh, at sign okay 
uh, dollar sign and percent sign okay in our identifier in identifier okay now uh, another is that uh, in an identifier is a case sensitive okay so an identifier is a case sensitive now uh, what do you mean by case sensitive so manila and manila okay are different so manila non capitalized and manila capitalized first letter are different so let's check build and uh, debug and start without debugging and that's it so we don't have errors okay as you notice so it is a case sensitive uh, non capitalized M to a capitalized uh, M now uh, uh, thank you for your time watching uh, this video